Hello again, kids. It's me, Len, and today it's story time. <laughs> Today's story is about the time that my friend and I were kicked out of a house that we were squatting in by the landlord, and the cops showed up, and we took off running. And we were videotaping most of it. So today's story will also feature classic VHS clips and photos. So let's get into it. As a side note, in an effort to maintain some privacy for people who are involved in this story, I will be changing some names and also blurring out, you know, editing out some people's faces in some of the video. Okay, let's get started. So as I said, my friend and I had been squatting in a house we were not supposed to be in. We knew the landlord was on his way, so we left him a few surprises and waited patiently for him with a video camera to film his reaction. We thought we were hilarious. He did not. It never even occurred to us that he might get the police involved. We narrowly escaped by literally taking off running while they yelled after us. But before I share this tale and show you the video from that day, let me give you the backstory on how we got there in the first place. It was the summer of 1990 in the small town of Port Hadlock, Washington. My three best friends and I were all 19 years old and playing in a glam rock band called Skeleton Crew. The four of us shared a house right in the middle of town. This is the house of Skeleton Crew. We're gonna try to find Lynn Enders, Derek Mitchell, Hot Garden, Scott Gray. It was a super cool little place and our band practiced in the living room. Life there was peachy until the day we received an eviction notice. Can't say we didn't see it coming though, since we hadn't paid the rent in six full months. We were given three days to vacate. Whoa, what do you have there? Oh, nothing. Just an eviction notice. Eviction notice? Signed by Hmm. Termination. By landlord. That's a fuck. Failure to pay rent. Three days notice. We have three days notice. After that, we bounced around homeless for a few weeks until the singer in our band made a deal with a guy for a super junky old trailer. We just had to drag it out of its current location and get it to the spot we were going to rent. Here we are the day our trailer was being moved. Oh, yeah. Dude, this is our home. <laughs> oh, shit. That fucking house. That's where it came from. Dude, look. What's I that? Got, I got part of it. Oh, that came from our house? What part? <laughs> Ooh, oonch. Documented loss. Check it out. Well, let's see how this see, site's doing over here. Oh, hey, remember, good. This is our house. We'll be moving in today. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're moving in today. We're going to be getting our shit. Oh, shit. 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 Watch this. I just sent bad things right here for this trailer, right, right here. The thing is, I could go tell them to stop. Okay, this is our home, and we'll be moving in today. We ended up parking the trailer in this weird commune in the woods where people paid rent with food stamps and lived in literally anything that had a roof. Tents, broken down cars, weird sheds, whatever. The place was super sketchy and filled with weirdos, but it was kind of fun while the weather was good. Plus, the nice woman that lived in the giant plywood shed next door to us let our band practice at her place, which was cool. By fall, it was only the singer and I living in the rotted old trailer. When winter hit, staying there became unbearable, so we looked for other options. So then this really good girlfriend of ours, who we will call Jane, 
she is moving in with a friend of hers, a girlfriend of hers, and we will call her Claire. So Jane is moving in with Claire. A couple of the dudes in the band find places to live sort of temporarily, but me and the singer do not have a place. So we ask them if it's okay if we can move in with them. And they very reluctantly agree. After we make many promises about we will definitely pay rent, we will definitely pay bills, no, we don't totally have jobs right now, but we'll figure it out, blah, 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 blah. Somehow we talk them, we talk them into it. And they're like, okay, go ahead and move in. So this is their first place that they had ever rented together. And it's really tiny. And it's in this, this neighborhood where there's, you know, houses pretty much like right next door all around you and whatever. So of course, we don't really pay rent or contribute much of anything. And Claire starts to get pretty annoyed. And she ends up telling Jane, these dudes need to get out of here or else I'm out of here. So you need to choose. And Jane, unfortunately for her, chooses to let us stay. Claire now is pretty mad and she's, uh, she's like, I'm out. And she gets herself taken off the lease and moves out. At this point, our guitar player moves into Claire's old room and pretty soon our drummer is sleeping over almost every night. It doesn't take long before we have all of our band equipment moved in and we're practicing in the living room. Although we're not paying any rent and Jane is the only one on the lease, we behave as if it's our house. This is our house. It's been filmed yet. This is the bathroom here. And right here is the window outside, but it's all fogged up so I'm not going to look into it. You just think that like I, I always get naked right there. Right there, I always get naked and stuff. Right in there. Uh, penises are shown there. And here's our kitchen. And here's our refrigerator. Check it's it out. Down. Check it out, there's nothing in it. Our band rehearsals begin to really upset the neighbors, and the police are coming by regularly because of noise complaints to make us turn down. The landlord's patience is beginning to wear thin, and at this point, for some unknown reason, we all decide this would be a good time to throw a house party. We pick a date and call everyone we know. So we throw this party, tell all of our friends, whatever, and it ends up being way, way, way too much. This house was so small. It was like this tiny little place, and we invited way too many people. So the place just ends up absolutely packed. Like you can't even move through it. There's a porch out in the back that's full. And pretty soon the yard, like the yard outside is just full of people. Like way too many people found out about this. Once all of these people sort of converged and the, and the music was really loud and whatever, it, it did not take long for the cops to come. So the cops come rolling up and everybody scatters. I mean, just it, it empties the whole place. And it's like this little neighborhood and people are jumping over all the fences and stuff, running through people's yards, running through people's gardens and stuff, just like tearing out of there. The neighbors are bummed. Everyone in that, in all of the surrounding homes right there are completely pissed off. And a couple of people came over and were yelling like it was a whole nightmare. So about a day or so later, Jane gets a call from the landlord and he's way, way pissed and basically tells her you have three days to get out. Here's where the story gets really stupid. As soon as we get the three day notice, Jane, the guitar player and the drummer all leave, but the singer and I have a different plan. Somehow we have it in our heads that we have the legal right to stay. Not sure where we were getting our legal advice, but we decide we will stay in the house right up until the moment the landlord is scheduled to arrive at 6 p.m. on the third day. So now we're there for three days by ourselves, and then the wheels start turning of like, what kind of like wacky bullshit can we do? And so then we decide we're gonna do little, just do some little pranks just to like mess with the landlord a little bit. 
Stupid ideas for childish pranks start coming to us. Nothing destructive, just a bunch of dumb stuff that will annoy the hell out of the landlord. Here's a few of the things that we do. We stash bags of old clothes and other assorted junk in the attic crawl space. We place unbroken eggs in the ceiling lamps. We lock the door to one of the bedrooms from the inside, then crawl out the window. We hang yellow caution tape in the trees outside and around the front of the house. We write ridiculous insults directed at the landlord on poster board, paper plates, and notebook paper and leave them all around the house. In the drawers, the cupboards, the refrigerator, and tack to the walls. Finally, we decide to borrow a video camera, wait for the landlord to arrive on eviction day, and then film his reaction when he sees all of this foolishness. We will then place all of the blame on an unseen group of neighborhood kids. What a perfect plan! So now, we're in the house, and we're just sitting here, the two of us with the video camera, waiting for dude to show up. Which, he does. And when he shows up, we're like, okay, we're, we turn on the video camera, and we're like, alright, now we're gonna walk out of here. But then we start to notice, like, whoa, this dude is actually pissed. And then we're starting to, as we go out, and he starts talking to us, we start realizing, like, Wait a minute, like, duh, we could actually get in trouble for this. Because we're not really supposed to be here. Duh. The last part of this, of my story, is going to be the actual video that we took that day as we were leaving the house. You'll see in this video, we go out, we talk to him, and he's not really happy. He's not losing it or anything, but he's staying cool, but he's definitely, like, you know, annoyed. And then they tell us that the cops will be coming. And so then we're starting to kind of freak out. And we're just lying, lying, lying. Oh, some kids came here and they strung this stuff up and they keep coming around. And we start like blaming everything on, on kids. Some kids came and, and did stuff. As we're like, how are we going to get out? We need to get out of here before the police come. So then you will see on this video, and I'll slow down the part so that, so that you can see, the cops... A cop pulls up, and right as he pulls up, we are like, uh, I'm the one filming, and I turn off the video camera, and then the cops come out, they're talking with the landlords, and we make some kind of a little excuse about, oh, wasn't there this one thing? Uh, they did this one thing over here around the side of the house, and we got just around the house enough to take off sprinting. And we're running, and at that point, I don't know, I did it on accident, I think. I hit the video camera back on, so it's, it's going again as we're running, and we're just sprinting and laughing. And they are, like, in the background. You can't hear them on the video, but they're like, stop. So we ended up sprinting out of there and getting away and never heard anything about it again. So here now is the video from that day when we were actually evicted. Enjoy. Oh god, dude, he's not gonna be happy. Is it filming? Yep, it's filming. Where's my camera at, dude? I got it in my hand. Okay. He's gonna kick us out, dude, so we'll get ready. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll grab the video tape cover. Hold on, hold on. Here, grab it. Grab the video tape cover, dude. Okay, this is the house. Check it out. Okay, we'll just go out. Go out. Go out. Like, be shutting the, shutting off the lights and stuff, and going. Okay. <laughs> what? So we'll be going, and we're getting ready to leave now. I want to film his reaction. Look at him. Look at him right there. He's fucking. Rough. He's fucking pissed. Oh shit, he is. He's oh. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so we got everything in. Okay. Everything's cool, everything's cool here. Okay. Should we, should we hang? We can hang out here until 6. No, let's, let's go, let's go. Shut the light off. Okay. I'm gonna get the door. Okay. Video in there. Hi. 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 Hi.
Hi, how you doing? Good. What's your name? I am Derek. You're Derek? Yeah. And who are you? Mike. You're Mike. Okay, Mike. Yeah. Good, that's great. The police will be here in a minute. Oh, they will? Yeah. Keep. Okay, then. They came again, so. Huh? They, I said they came again. Yeah. When we were gone. I mean, the, the, the kids came again when we were gone. Okay. So we should, what's, okay. Can I get my picture taken, too? Sure. So you're, you're Mike. We were helping Mike. move. Mike. You're helping Mike. move. I understand she's already moved down. Mike Johnson, yeah. Huh? That's what, yeah, she's we were just, we just took the last load a little bit ago. I understand there's some been some together. people trashy, pretty well trashy yeah, in the place. Yeah, and that's why I said some kids came over. Uh -huh. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah. Who put this stuff up? The kids. That's, kids. that's remember that the other day, it's been up like three times. The kids, they come by and the, they go, I don't know where they got, like the school or something, I don't know, the, the tape. But anyway, they came and they locked, they locked the door, apparently, because they, uh, and they, they made it so we can't get back in. I can't what are you taking these pictures for? This is for, because we're moving. We're so moving. what? And we wanted we're around. moving. We're, we're making we're a movie. Well, we're moving. We're moving away, yeah. and so we're documenting, guess, you know. The reason I think they're, well, I know they were kids because I've heard from other from people that the kids, oh, they love coming up to your house and playing on your you, roof. You weren't the guys, huh? No. no. Well, I just called the police, and I told them to apprehend anybody in here that didn't belong in here. Oh, well, No, so we, we just moved here. everything out. We just out. moved everything out. You had no right to live there. Oh, I know. I was just staying. I just came back from California. I've only been here for okay. less than a month. I was just staying with some friends until I moved back. But what they did was... <laughs> You're not supposed to be in there at all. Apparently, well, I haven't been here for a month. Apparently, they they closed up the site here because they they locked the things in there, and I can't I can't even get in there. That one does. Uh -huh. That one is. Just, I mean, that's I mean. Oh. Dude, we need to get out this of here. This one does. I get bigger. I don't know. Go, 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 go. Oh my God. Run, run. Dude, dude. Oh my God. Shit. <laughs> go, 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 go. And that's where the original tape cut off. So this is where today's story ends. Thanks for watching. If you happen to be a fan of the 1980s or 1990s, have a look at my YouTube channel where I post clips from my personal VHS home videos.